Welcome to Calvary Conversations. My name is Mariah and I've missed you guys. I haven't done a podcast like this in a while and I'll be answering some questions and just giving you guys life updates and podcast updates. And yeah, so it's going to be fun. But i um, praying you guys have had a blessed Resurrection Sunday and I know that we had a blessed time here at Calvary Valley Church. We had a baptism and 20 people were baptized. Praise the Lord. And yeah, we had a great service and the children sang Celebrate, um, which was singing He is Risen because He is Risen indeed. And then they also sang God's Not Dead. And so it's just been a lot of fun just seeing the church grow. And if you guys don't have a church home, you guys can always visit us here at Calvary Valley. That's 6901 North La Cunata Drive. Tucson, Arizona, 85704. And we also got a new website. So, so thankful for Christian. He was our website designer. He comes to our church and does so much. He also does the graphics and thumbnails for the podcast. So thank you, Christian. And go check out the new website at calvaryov.org. Also, our podcast, Calvary Conversations, is going to be launching a new website soon. We have a website, but we need to update it. So that's exciting. And... Um, Some other fun things are we have a new guest speaker coming on May 15th, which is a Sunday. So that's Beckett Cook. We've had him on our podcast before, and he has an amazing testimony how he was in the homosexual lifestyle for 15 years, and then someone told him about the Lord, and he surrendered everything to the Lord. He knew at that moment that homosexuality was a sin and that he could no longer practice that, and so... He gave it up um, and knowing that this life is not about the pleasures and feeling good and whatever we want, but it's about serving the Lord and it's about eternity with him one day. So he has an amazing testimony. Make sure to come May 15th. That's a Sunday to our 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. service. And then also we're going to have a special 6 p.m. service, which will be a QA. and a And you guys can ask any of your questions because I know a lot of people have family members or friends who are in the homosexual lifestyle and they don't know how to talk to them. They're scared they're going to offend them and it's just really difficult. So make sure you guys come prepared with your questions. You can also email them to calvaryov at calvaryov.org and then I can um, ask those questions for you guys on stage. And it's going to be a great day. You do not want to miss it. So please make sure to invite your family members and friends and just coworkers or whoever you see on the street. Just invite them to May 15th. And we just can't wait. Also, we have Sam Storms coming in September. So I'll announce that. I think that's September 18th. So there's a lot of exciting things this year coming up. And sorry that I've been kind of MIA. It's just been a busy year and we have been like re- adjusting things with the podcast and figuring it out what we're going to do and with testimonies and stuff like that. But this April 28th, which is very soon, um, two years, this podcast has been here for two years. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say founded or started it two years ago, but that's wild to me. I think it's just so cool just to see where God's taken this podcast and just how many people have also come to the Lord, people who have come to even our church and now their family is serving the Lord. And I just heard so many testimonies. This one lady actually came to church. It was probably like two or three weeks ago. And she came just crying to me, just so thankful for what this podcast has done in her life and how it's just ministered to her and the testimonies and just even seeing her favorite testimony was my mom's testimony. My mom's actually in the podcast room right now. Um, and just with Mike Shreve and just talking about healing and just continue prayers for my mom. You, as you guys know, she has stage four metastasized breast cancer and, um, she's just, it, every day is a struggle, you know, just with her lungs and just the cancer spread throughout her body, but she just still chooses so much joy. And so we're going to have to get my mom on the podcast soon just to share her story. So I'm excited for that. And, Um, yeah, just continued prayers just for wisdom. We know that God can heal her and we're praying for that and believing for that. But, you know, even if he doesn't, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we're still going to serve the Lord. But we believe that our ultimate home is in heaven, that we're just foreigners passing through. This is not our home. And I love this song. Um, It's called Weary Traveler. And it just makes me realize that, you know, even though we're trying to store and make everything perfect here, it can't be perfect. We have so many insecurities, so many things like my mom was just saying, like her body's wasting away 
and you don't always feel the most beautiful when that's happening but everyone has said it so many people just how stunning she is and beautiful and it's because of well first of all she's gorgeous and but just the joy of the lord is our strength and that's the thing that makes anyone beautiful right woman who fear the lord a woman who fears the lord the bible says proverbs 31 30 is to be praised like charm is deceptive beauty is fleeting right our bodies are decaying but those who fear the lord will be praised so just encouragement for anyone out there who is just going through any trial just to know that you're not alone the lord's with you and we will be praying for you so send in your prayer requests too to our instagram which is calvary conversation at calvary conversations and also the email like i said calvaryov at calvaryov.org and we love to pray for you because this is a family i want this podcast not to just be to boast about all these amazing stories and anything like that but i want this podcast to be giving god glory and also to just be a family and that's what we are you know we're a family in christ brothers and sisters but for those who don't know the lord we want to give you guys the opportunity to also know the lord intimately right it's not just about religion like all these other religions is about do 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 you have to do all this stuff and like my dad says you just keep doing this stuff and you end up feeling like do do it's just you feel like junk but the lord he's paid it all he died on the cross for sins right the lord sent his only begotten son jesus to die for us that whoever believes and that believe is postua which means to put all of our eggs everything in surrender to the lord then whoever believes in him will not perish because sin is what separates us right but jesus paid that penalty for our sin they will not perish but have everlasting life right that's john 3 16 that's one of my favorite verses and also there's people out there who just feel like god is just a god who's angry at them who doesn't love them but sam dr sam storms uh, he doesn't like being called doctor but he is going to be sharing um his book which is the singing god and that will be september 18th so stay tuned for that but just talking about how god his love for us is so it's so vast and so wide but we so many times just hear the lies of people and fear man and just want other people's approval instead of knowing that God has good plans for us. He loves us. So another verse, I know these are both simple verses, right? John three sixteen, and this one is Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, which I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you, to give you a hope and a future. And so just know that, that the Lord, he does have great plans for you, those who are in Christ Jesus, right? And it says, those who seek him will find him jeremiah 29 13 for those who seek for him with those who seek him with all their heart that pastua pastua that belief everything surrender to him so i know that was a lot that i was just saying and kind of venting but i haven't talked to you guys in a while and i miss you guys so if you guys have any questions for me um i had a few people send in questions on instagram and so i can answer them in another podcast um i can answer some right now one of them was about contentment like how to find contentment in this life and just in the season they're in and it was just really cool i was reading philippians 4 and it was just talking about how you know paul was content in all these circumstances and all the things he was in and i think it's also first timothy 6 6 and it's talking about um that contentment is just like it's something that only god can give us and that's like those who have contentment with god it's like great gain because a lot of times when we're not content we're comparing it just keeps us stuck right when we're just trying to say oh i want to be like this person or this person we're stuck and we're trapped trying to fear people and so actually that's why i recently just got rid of my own personal instagram because i was just caught myself comparing myself to others and i just realized that the only one i'm supposed to compare myself to is the lord and trying to be more like Christ every single day. We'll never be perfect on the side of heaven, but just to be becoming perfect. And that's where you find contentment when you're not comparing yourself to people, which I struggle with, you know, doing this podcast, caring so much what people think, how I look, is my makeup good, is my hair good, but just realizing I have no one to please. It doesn't matter if you guys all dislike me. The only thing that, the only person I should fear is the Lord, right? Man, they can kill us to kill our bodies but the lord can kill us and cast our body and soul into hell and so just that fear of god but also knowing there's a love and for those who are in christ jesus there's no condemnation there's no fear that i am so thankful that i just have this blessed assurance that i know where i'm gonna go when i die that same thing with my mom just it doesn't matter if you have stage four metastasized breast cancer doesn't matter if you're the healthiest you've ever been like 
it could be any of our last days and we just need to get right with the Lord and realize that this life is a vapor. It's so short. And he can also come back at any time. We're going to do more podcasts, my dad and I, on the end times. And like we say, the end times are not to scare us, but to prepare us, to get us excited and ready, to say, Maranatha, Lord, come quickly. But until that day, there's still souls to be saved, right? We're praying for those unsafe family members and friends. So um, just to know that we're interceding for those people because it's God's will that all might come to know him, right? But there is free will. <laughs> it's... It stinks. You wish that we could just all go to heaven, but we're not robots. He gives us free will because he loves us. So praise God for that. And yeah, I'm just so thankful for you guys. I'm excited to see what God's going to do with this podcast as I commit it to him that it's his and just interviewing amazing guests with amazing testimonies. And right, they overcame Satan by the blood of the lamb, what he did on the cross and their word of and the word of their testimony. And so that's what crushes the enemy's head is the word of their testimony. So um, if anyone's out there who has a testimony or knows of anyone um, that would like to share their testimony, just email me. I've said it three times now, but cabriob at cabriob.org. And I'd love to interview you guys. Um, it's just something I'm passionate about and I love to do. And also just testimonies from within, anyone from our church, just that it doesn't have to be someone with like a million followers. That can be someone that no one knows about, but they're just testifying the goodness of God. So I love you guys. Just make sure you join us on May 15th. That's a Sunday to our 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. service and a special 6 p.m. at night. And all those will be live streamed. So I will put those links down below. But make sure you subscribe to our channel and share this video with other people. Share Calvary Conversations with other people because it really is something that even though you might think like, oh, it's just it's just a video, but the Holy Spirit can speak through that. But also it's just praying for those people because it's nothing this video can save anyone. I can't do that. I am weak and I'm not really good at talking. I'm not the best at this, but just giving it to the Lord. Um, and just even though sending maybe that video about Beckett Cook and his testimony might offend a family member who maybe is in the homosexual lifestyle and they're calling themselves a Christian, but that might be the very thing they need is that truth in love. And so I'm excited to see what God's going to do with that. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you'd like to listen to us on Spotify or every gear podcast, whether that's iTunes, please make sure to also leave us a five-star review. It's so easy. You don't even have to write anything. You just click on the five stars or whatever stars you want to give. Um, but that really helps share this podcast to those, um, just to so many other people. And also you guys can make sure to follow us on Instagram, like I already said, at Calvary Conversations. And you can also um, support Calvary Conversations with a one-time gift or a monthly gift. You can do that down below that says support. And if you'd like to sponsor the podcast, you guys can do that. You can email me and um, we will give you a free t-shirt and we'll make sure that you guys are advertised on our podcast every single time on the radio station, which our podcast is on the radio every Friday, I think Thursday and Friday, and also on our website. And um, But thank you so much to our sponsor, Mission Heating and Cooling. Please make sure to check out their website in the description below. They've been such a blessing to us. And... I just pray that they can bless you whether you need, well, summer's coming, so cooling for sure. If you need your AC or anything like that, um, go check them out. And also, I just want to say that the Lord is for you. He's not against you and just praying for a blessing over you guys and to just be encouraged. I love you so much and I'll see you guys next week. God bless.